searching for optimal knowledge of past events, particularly as regards human affairs, or if the document tends to give detailed accounts of a group of people, place or community, history often time gives accurate direction. Telling details of a Belkota Diego State Capital's existence, however, the story is not complete without a mention of a rock formation that has become an admiring glance of guests or tourists who are seen of visiting the world-class tourist site for the first time. Ogo State is really, really blessed. Ogo State is blessed when it comes to um, the tourism potential. Is it in terms of our cultural diversity? You understand? So Ogun State is a real good mine that has not yet been tapped. Olumo Story is an attraction site. It has become a brand. And that is why His Excellency is so much particular about what do you think we can do to make sure we project all these our tourist attraction sites to the whole world. And that's our target. If South Africa can be celebrated as a tourist country today, if Egypt can be celebrated as a tourist country, Morocco and Tunisia, then why not? We also can be celebrated too. Because tourism is just not about, it's not just about entertainment alone. It's about driving the economy. History as it that the name Abel Kuta was derived from this historical monument, which was said to have served as fortress for the Egba people during an intertribal war that ravaged the community in the 1830s. Here we are at Egba Wartime Hideout. This is where well this community hide for good three years. There was a time in 1830 when the Egba they were under ancient Oyo Empire. That time they were having the oppression and depression between the ancient Oyo. So they have to move from Oyo to this place. On getting here, there's a man that discovered this rock. The man is called Adagba. Adagba was a great hunter and a farmer. In now he invited the Egba to come and hide here. Why they were hiding here, another one had cropped up between the Egba and the Dahomey, now the Republic of Bene. Why they were hiding here, they beat five rooms with mud inside the cave there. Four as collab, which remains only one. When you also get in there, you see some O's. I don't money grind and pound their means for that good three years. The ancient rock formation seated in the heart of a Belkota is 137 meters high above the sea level and it has remained a means of revenue generation for government in the state for over the years. And that is what this administration is particular about. We're taking every step, gradual step, to make sure that we are going about how to actually make all these tourist attraction sites to become a destination. And that is why we're looking at it and thank God for His Excellency, Prince Dr. Dagbo Abiyonu MFR. When we got on board, the first thing we did was to visit all those uh, tourism attraction centers to see their state and to see what we need to do. And immediately we started doing some of them. We did some renovation. The normal thing is that there must be a policy to be able to channel it back for the maintenance and for the sustainability of those attraction sites. Dotted with the relics of many historic IDOT caves, signaling the extent at which the rock formation was able to provide sanctuary for the victims of war who are the vantage position of sighting and closely monitoring their enemies during the warfare. After the war ended in 1830, they consult Ifa or Rakuda. Ifa, should we proceed or we stay here? Ifa said no, they should stay here. 
that this is where God has put an end into their suffering and wandering. That's the meaning of Ulumo. Nibi Lolua fi wala ti da mwa ye yin mo si Olu fi mo, Olu mo. And that meaning to Olumo is it's called that benevolently mo this rock. Olua lo mo okuta la jishye bwe fun wa. After the war, anyway, when it's not going out, so people ask them, say, you the egg bass. And you egg babo le, egg babo le, assassin egg babo. They said we hid ourselves under the rock. Assassin a be okuta. And be ni a be okuta. They call it as a be okuta. A be okuta means under the rock or beneath the rock. If you have been outside there and not been here, you won't be to the original a be okuta. Little wonder the people are referred to as Omolumo, according to Yoruba parlance. Olumorok, no doubt, an ancient inheritance of the Igba people that is duly held in high esteem by the citizens, both home and abroad. A trip to Olumorok by any first timer or tourist usually commences with artificial climb of the man made stairs carved into the rock. As against what was obtainable in the past, where people crawl to get to the peak of the rock. Past governments in the state have in one way or the other made impact at changing the fortunes of the tourist site. Example of such effort is the modern infrastructure of heavy-duty glass escalator running through different levels of the rock, which was done by one of the past administration in the state. No doubt, this is capable of making the rock climbing easier most especially for visitors with mountain climbing phobia. We need to look beyond the economic benefit. That's what comes about the social aspect of it. We should be able to balance up. We are having a misconception when we always think of, you know, um, tourism as an economic drive alone. We shouldn't see it as an economic drive alone. We should try and see it beyond the economic drive and see it as trying to balance up the economy, the social life of the people, and the environment. So tourism is key when it comes to the social economic life of the generality of the people. Very many historical facts available for tourist delight still remain a point of reference to many. Catching scenes of caverns in the rock, carry studded status, and the ancient abode of the priestesses of the mountain deity who live every day of their lives appeasing the gods are sights to behold. Prominent also is this traditional akoko tree that has been in existence for over a century. This symbolic tree is used to install every paramount ruler of Egba land. This is a sacred room standing atop the rock where sacrifices are offered every year for the unity and progress of Egma land by the paramount ruler alone. In we have four good kings. Number one is Alaki of Ekbala, the paramount ruler of Egma land. Number two is Oshin of Okiono. Number three is Agura of Bagura. While number four is Olowo of Ogu. They will all be here during the day of the first bar, but only the Alaki will go inside to go and for the sacrifice. They will go in there to pray for the whole nation. For the climate of and for the unity of Abel Okuta. As you can see, some feathers over there, people that believe in tradition, come to seek for anything, maybe money or children. After their prayer has been answered, they come back with their plate. That's why they call the rock as Olumo Abeluwo, Abeloro, Abelongi, a deity can put for wealth, for children, and for every other good thing. Among several other historical features, Olumo Rock Tourist Site is a destination that provides water 
to quench the thirst of millions of tourists across the world with its rich cultural facts. Ela she va volumo, 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 ela she